Hey everyone, the next the videos is going to be a compilation of sneak peeks from our Twin Flame Ascension Cafe coaching program where we help you feel empowered in your Twin Flame connection. And we want to tell you for Valentine's Day, we are offering a special 30% off our Souls Plan starter and premier programs. And we wanted to let you know there are people who are doing our 30 day detox that in the in the 30 days, they've already reached out to us to let them to let us know that their person has reached out to them. What do I do now? What do I do now? And that's exactly why we made the balancing program. We made the balancing program because there is there is a method to detoxing to rid yourself of the addictive energy. And then there's a method to balancing two totally different things. One, you are ridding yourself of the addictive energy so that your twin flame can come back into into your experience. The balancing is so that you know how to stay in the energetic space to keep them there. So we wanted to offer you guys for Valentine's Day 30% off either of these programs. Now, without further ado, check out our video. I have, been, I have been in the same pattern of short voice messages from my person and that's it. And then nothing for a few weeks. It's a continuous pattern and it puts me in mind immediately. What am I doing wrong that this is all I get? I think that question alone is push. Like, like you think you have to do something or you're doing something wrong for them. Cancel. I'm not doing anything for them. Nothing. None. Zero. If I'm doing anything for them, I'm pushing it. So I'm going to release it. <sighs> I would say let go of the voicemails. Let them go. I don't need them. If I feel like I am leaking through them, then that's just another avenue for me to release. Right? Let's, let's, let's pretend you have them with you in social media. And you have access to their stuff. Every time you look at them, every time you look at who they're added, every time you look at who they're talking to, it's push, right? So now fast forward to this question where every time you get a voicemail, you have this surge of push come out of you, takes you out of intent. Remember when I told you guys that your my goal was soul. Elizabeth's goal was peace. That's out of intent. It takes me out of soul. It's going to take me out of soul every time I get a voicemail. Um, I need to learn how to balance those voicemails so they don't trigger me. I don't want just voicemails to get me in and out of my ascension. I don't, I don't want distractions from my alignment with soul. I'm sorry. I love myself too much. And you're me anyway. So even if I need to block you for a little bit or delete some stuff in my phone so I don't see it, when you send me stuff, I'm going to do it. And then maybe I go back to it later when I feel like my energy is balanced. That's what makes you as the awakened twin. You have to own your energy, my love. So you're the one that gets to choose if you want to keep giving energy to the addictive energy. Stop allowing things to come between you and your alignment with soul. This journey isn't for them. They're only a byproduct. So if you are finding yourself leak or be triggered when you're getting any type of manifestation, whatever form it is, then you need to either surrender or let go of that manifestation or learn how to balance it through presence, soul alignment, and keeping your intent pure. If you can't do that with those three, you got to close it off. Got to close it off. You just got to be at peace with it. Like, I trust you, my soul. I know this is what you're bringing to me because you think I'm ready to balance this. I'm going to be honest with you. Every time I see their social media, I leak. So I don't really want access to the social media. Or every time I get a voicemail and they, they know they can call me, you know, every few months to search my energy back and push. I don't need it. I don't need it. And you know, the mind's not going to like that. That's how you know it's the right thing to do when the mind freaks out. Like, no, no, I can't let go of this one thing that we have together. Is it? Is that the one thing? Or is that the one thing the mind is clinging to that's keeping them in arm's length? 
whatever it is that you feel like you're leaking on, you're getting your hits on, you got to surrender and let it go. If you have to keep checking it, if you have to keep doubting yourself, you're not in intent, my love, not when you get those voicemails. And I don't blame you. I get it. That's why we always recommend to just choose you for a little bit. Choose you for a little bit. I choose me more. I'll come back to that when I'm ready. And so what if you come back and open it when your energy is balanced? You go back to it. You can listen to it when you're ready. You're good. You waited for your energy to be neutralized before you check anything is choose you through it all. However way it's coming at you, if you are finding yourself leaking with addictive energy every time, being triggered every time, you're going to have to just choose you. You're going to have to choose you. It's not time to balance right now because I can't even balance myself. I can't even balance my own addictive energy. Why would I want to balance more addictive energy to be created. Now you can say, all right, so I trust you bring it. I'm going to balance whatever the heck you bring in front of me and I'm going to make myself priority. Then yeah, guess what happens when you do that? Those voicemails aren't going to touch you. They're just going to be like, whoop, voicemail bounces right off you. That's how you can balance the voicemails. But if you get any feeling of addictive energy, nope. I don't want it. I don't need it. I choose me. I'm going to line back to soul. They're going to have to find another way to me because right now my addictive energy is cray cray and I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay with being aligned with soul, reaching this beautiful Satori moment, making this intent about me and then starting all over again every time they come in. I can relate to this question so much. And there's a couple things I want to one is we've told this story. I've told this story many times that um, I had got to the place of surrender where I told my person, don't contact me. And they said, well, why would I do that? I want to keep in contact with you. And like, looking back, it was, it was the text messages. Those were my leaks. He would text. And um, those were my leaks. I leaked off them. And I would, my addictive energy would spike surge. I would want to respond immediately. And then it was like, I hated that feeling. I mm. hated that feeling so much that that's when I was like, I can't do this anymore. And that's why I texted and said, please stop messaging me because I couldn't handle it. And it was shortly after that, when I surrendered the texting, because I told him, I don't want to hear. That's when he started coming in. I mean, I was in Seoul, but it wasn't through even text. That's when he started showing up. 5 30 in the morning after he'd gone to the gym to go swimming. It was like this next level of, I'm going to see you face to face again, because I'd already surrendered the text messages. Like now looking back, that's sort of what I did. And I see this pattern from a lot of clients. A lot of clients will stick to one thing, like Joanne said, that mm-hmm. is, a, that will get them the hit that they will mm-hmm. cling mind will cling to it. So some people will be a third party. Some people it'll be, um, text messages. Some it'll be like this client is the voice messages. There's seems it's everything. It, it, you will know what you're leaking, what you're leaking off of what your kryptonite is. This is the kryptonite to your journey with soul. If it makes you back in mind and you're ruminating, That's the kryptonite. That's what you need to surrender. You need to surrender whatever that is. You'll know what it is, my loves. It can be, like I said, the access to social media. You can easily find them. You know, you know that they can text you anytime. They haven't blocked you. So you check your phone from time to time to see if they text you. That's a leak. Yeah, kryptonite. So when we say surrender, when surrender doesn't just mean the person, the energy of the person, it means anything that is taking you away from intent, anything that is spiking, Mm. anything that is putting you in a place of seeking them, seeking the hit, seeking the energetic high. That is what you're surrendering. You're surrendering that. And so, like I said, I see people get in these patterns, cling to these things. And it's like, as soon as they let that thing go, poof, they have this huge internal shift. Mm -hmm. You have 
piece that you have to be ready to get rid of your hit, be okay with not having the hit, face how it feels to not get that high. Mm-hmm. And that's the withdrawal. It's, it's, it's really hard because it is, it's going to be like another form of dark night. It will, because it's another shed of what the ego is holding on to. Yeah. It's another level of layers that the mind has it grips grips on to keep you leaking, keep you in addictive energy. And you'll never really focus on your ascension when you keep going back and forth. Like you can't. You can't. They, yeah. The and it's not that they wow. want you to do that. They have no idea. They're just messaging you because there's some form of pull within soul that says, you're in soul, but it's not to get out of soul. <laughs> you got to stay in soul. So if you have these things that trigger you, right? Like we said, the third party, uh, you have constant dreams that you ruminate on. Maybe you think about like beautiful memories over and over. That's a put like any form of thinking outside of you, any yeah. form of trying to figure out what to right? We said this word do, right? Because there's nothing to do. All of these things that takes you away, away from presence and alignment with soul. That's going to be what you need to surrender and release. So I just did, I just did the blog and a video on this. And I think it is the perfect, perfect metaphor for the energy of this connection. So this is what I want you guys to picture. I want you to picture you and your soul on two ends of a long stick. You each are holding the stick. The energy is the stick. That's what the stick is. It's representing the energy. Every single time you get into mind, you're pushing and the person's just holding, your soul is just holding onto the stick. And every time you're in mind, you're pushing that stick, that energy, and they're naturally backing up from you. Mm -hmm. They don't mean to, they don't want to, they can't help it. Pushing them away from you. Now, every time you come back and you pull your energy in and you get back aligned with soul, you're pulling that stick. And again, they're just holding it. They're just moving with the stick. They're moving Mm -hmm. with. So every time you're pulling your energy in, every time you're focusing on you, you're pulling that stick and you're allowing them to get in your same energetic space. That's Mm -hmm. all stick is indicative of the energy and they Mm -hmm. can't help what they're doing. So you are controlling the entire everything you're you're controlling how the direction they go in based on how your energy is so if you're allowing yourself to leak because you want the hit of that voice message you're essentially pushing that stick with them farther away mm-hmm. that's what it is what you need to do is choose you drop the stick drop the stick no more stick no more stick to push from yeah just let the stick go, surrender on whatever leaks you're allowing your energy to go to. And the, that's the only way out is in. Yeah. It, it's, it's tough, my loves. That's why we're here. That's why me and Elizabeth have told you we have dedicated, this is real stuff. We have dedicated our mission to helping beautiful souls. This is the real deal, my loves. Like we are all with you in this together we're balancing it every day and we're helping beautiful souls balance it every day it's clockwork now it's clockwork we laugh all the time me and elizabeth just laugh because we feel our clients shifting we feel all these beautiful souls flying and when we hear updates we're like yeah of course uh yeah of course that's gonna happen and they kind of look at us like in amazement like holy crap, this is real. Yeah, it's real. It's real. That's why we say, woohoo! <laughs> woohoo! We're, I'm a twin point! Because we already can see, we can already see the magic behind your soul. Yes. Yes. <laughs> ah.